What's up, everybody? It's John here from TheGimmeAct.com. Here we are today in Tales of Aravorn, Seasons of the Wolf, and we are going for every single achievement. This is going to be yet another visual novel, and like most other visual novels, before we get started, we are going to head into our preferences in order to turn some options to our favor. Make sure you go to the far left side, make sure you set skip text to all, and then set skip after choices to skip. Set transitions to none, then go to the middle column, and you want to make sure you turn both of these sliders all the way to the right, text speed and auto forward time. And of course, most importantly, make sure you turn virtual cursor to yes, that should allow you to use a pointer instead of just clicking around the options. That should make a lot of the pointing and clicking segments a lot easier. Make sure you start up a new game and set the difficulty to visual novel mode. This will allow you to skip past all of the battles. Make sure you pick your character. You can select whomever and then hit A to continue. You can pick whatever class you want. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to set it at the default. Hit X to auto generate your stats once you get to the attributes screen and make sure you do that for both characters. Then the game's going to ask you some questions in order to pick your character's traits. Make sure you just pick whatever. So we're just going to mash the A button and you have to do that for both characters. Then you're going to have to choose their skills. Again, you can auto generate these by hitting the X button. So just make sure you auto assign and confirm for both people. And that should do it for the setup. Then we can actually get into the actual game. Hit right bumper to fast forward, just like pretty much every other visual novel. And then once you get to the act one card, you are going to hit A to get past this. And then once you load up into the actual map, you are going to be given your first achievement. So make sure you do that and your achievement is going to pop for starting at chapter one. This one is going to be for 15 gamer score. So in addition to being your traditional visual novel, this game is also going to have some point and click and some RPG elements to it. So we're going to start things out by clicking on the blue arrow to move in to town. Then what you want to do is want to make sure you click on the general shop. We are going to fast forward through this as well. You're going to get some coins and stuff and then meet all of the townsfolk. Then once you are done here, head back to where you came from. So take the road back. Then you want to make sure you click on your house and then it's going to fast forward to nighttime. You're going to get your first quest right here. To complete it, we are going to have to head back into town, so make sure you do so, and you're going to need to head to the healer's shop, which is going to be right next door to the general shop. So head there, and then you should be sent back home and solve your first quest. Then you're going to unlock a new character, and then you're going to get into the next day. Make sure you head back home, and then what you want to do is you want to make sure you click on your house, and then make sure you pick the topmost option to rest for one day. And what you can actually do is you can keep picking this option over and over, and that should allow you to skip through most of the quests that you would normally do in Act 1. So just keep clicking on Rest for One Day until you automatically get sent to the start of Chapter 2, and you should be given the achievement for doing so for another 15 gamer score. You're going to have a couple of traditional visual novel choices here. Just keep picking the topmost option until you get back to the actual gameplay part. And then you should start chapter three in the meantime. So you should be given that achievement for another 15 gamer score. Once you are back in control of your character on the map screen, make sure you head back into town and then you will notice the circus has shown up. So make sure you head over to the tent area. Then fast forward through all this and meet all of these kooky characters. Then it's going to be back home. And then what you want to do is want to make sure you head back to your house for a little cutscene. Then just like before, we are going to constantly pick the rest for one day full recovery option until the days to the next plot event hit zero zero. As soon as that does, you should be able to head over here to the abandoned mining area to start the last quest of the act. Once you are at the mining area, you're going to want to search all of the abandoned caves. Just pick yes every time you get that option. And you are going to keep searching all four caves until the polar bear shows up. You are going to do stuff with it, and that's going to pretty much end the quest and segue us into chapter four. New achievement right here for another 15 gamer score. Then we're going to get into some boss fights and stuff, and then eventually that's going to segue us into act two. So start of act two, you're going to be given the chapter five achievement for another 15 gamer score. You are able to skip all of the combat and stuff because we are playing in visual novel mode, so make sure you do keep that in mind. So now that we are going to be in Act 2, we are going to be in this new city. We're going to start out by heading this direction into the neutral district. Then what you want to do is want to make sure you take a left in to the Lugal territory and you want to make sure you interact with the family residents. You're going to want to click on the two sets of mercenaries and you're going to have to do this for all of the families. 
in town. So make sure you head back to the neutral district and then head across the way to the Gamesh territory. Same thing, make sure you click on the family mansion and then the two sets of mercenaries that pop up. Then take the arrow back to the main road in the neutral district and then head up to the market district. You're going to have another two families on either side. We're going to start by going to the left and taking care of the Galanas. So click on the family house and then both of the mercenary groups. Then head across the way into the Kidu territory. Same thing, family residence and then both of the mercenary groups. Once you take care of that, head back to the market district and then head all the way back down to the arena. So just go back two screens and then click on the actual arena itself. Pick yes, and then that should solve the first quest of the act. You should start chapter six and be given another achievement for 15 gamer score right here. Then some more traditional visual novel choices. Typically, you're going to pick the topmost option for these all the time. So just keep doing that. And then we are going to get back into the game. And that's actually going to take us into Chapter 7. Another achievement, 30 gamer score, and then back to the game. Once you are back in control, you're going to want to head back to the neutral district. You're going to want to click on this arrow on the right, which is going to be the small crowd. You are going to get some more visual novel bits here. Again, just pick the topmost options whenever given a choice. And then you should unlock a new character and then you should be free to move on to the next area. So just fast forward through all of these bits and then make sure you get your quest. This is going to task you with going into the sewers, so make sure you do so. And then for these dungeon crawling bits, just keep clicking on whatever arrows suit your fancy. You should navigate to the end regardless of what path you choose during these. But for this one, it's going to be very linear and it's going to end with a boss fight. Unlike in Act 1, there's not going to be any trick to skip through all of the quests. So we are actually going to have to play all of them in this act. So back out onto the streets, make sure you head up to the market district and then this should start the next quest. And then once we have this, we are going to want to head up to the north gate, which is going to be the northernmost part of town. Make sure you start off by clicking on the search, which is going to be in the middle. And then once you take care of that, you're going to go to the tavern, which is going to be the shady oasis. Make sure you pay Arden's tab. And then once you are back out to the north gate, make sure you click search again. You should get some money and then you can move on. Once you take care of that, we're going to have to clear the city of all of the mercenaries again. So we're going to want to backtrack two screens and start out in the neutral district. Make sure you go to both sides and make sure you take care of both sets of mercenaries for both sides. So it's going to be the two at the Lugal territory. Then it's going to be back to the neutral district and then over to the Gamesh territory to take care of their two mercenaries. Then we're going to have to head back north and then take care of the other two. So make sure you head back to the market district. You want to make sure you start with the Kiddus first. The reason for that is we're going to need to go to the Galana territory to finish up. So might as well get our last set of mercenaries there although you can technically do these in any order but since we need to head to the Galanas last anyways we can save time by coming here and then wrapping things up here once all the mercenaries are taken care of you are going to be able to click on the shop right here the trinkets and treasures and you should start the next boss fight once you take care of that, you're going to want to head back to the north gate so just go the way you came and then make sure you head up then to get the next story trigger, you actually have to leave. So just make sure you click on the arrow to head back to the market district. And then you should wrap up the quest in the in-between. Make sure you grab your prize. And then we're going to head back to the arena to wrap up the day. So just go all the way back, go to the arena, and then just make sure you pick yes. And then we're going to move on with the story. So for this next part, it's pretty much going to have us hanging around the arena for a bit. You're going to want to pick search slave cells whenever it pops up. And then for these choices, you want to make sure you pick the middle choice, which is going to be have you recently seen a stranger clad in green around here. So just pretty much alternate between those two choices. And that's going to be the fastest way of getting to the next objective. So just keep picking that until you find the mysterious assassin, get through that boss fight, and then we should wrap up here. Once we get back to the normal visual novel choices just keep picking the topmost choice and then once we start chapter 8 we should be good for another 30 gamer score right here 
Then it's going to be back to our fast forwarding escapades and then again picking the top most choices whenever we get into these parts. And then we're just going to keep trucking through this, keep picking the top most choice, and then we're going to eventually get back into the game. It's going to be a pretty long-winded talking segment right here, but eventually you should start another boss fight against Guardian Golem. Make sure you get through all that, and then it's going to be another quest out of the way, and another chapter to start. Chapter 9 achievement right here, another 30 gamer score in the bag. And then we are going to move on to the next part, which is going to involve more talking and yet another boss fight. You are going to get a new party member right here, so make sure you add this person to your party. And then more fast forwarding, and more picking the top choices, and then more fast forwarding after that. And then eventually we are going to finally move on to the next chapter, chapter 10, and be given this achievement for another 30 gamer score. Then finally, after all of that talking, we are going to finally get back into the game out here in the desert. So you're going to get all of these sets of fresh tracks. Just make sure you click on all of them and eventually one is going to appear on top right here. So just keep clicking the bottom four until you get that topmost one to pop up. Then click on that to move on with the story. And you're going to have more visual novel choices here. Again, just pick the topmost choice every time these show up. Another boss fights to take care of and another quest to get out of the way and eventually we're going to head back into town and start chapter 11 and be given that achievement for yet another 30 gamer score. So to start the second half of this act, we are going to need to ask the Kidus for help. So make sure you head up two screens and then make sure you head into the Kidu territory, which is going to be on this side if you forgot. Make sure you head straight for the family mansion. No need to deal with the mercenaries quite just yet. And then make sure you get the next mission. Then we're going to head down. You want to make sure you head all the way back down to the Lugal territory. So that's going to be the one to the left of the neutral district. Once you are here, you can go to the Iron Hall and then get into another dungeon. Again, you're going to have a bunch of arrows, but it's pretty much up to you on where you want to go. So just keep clicking on things until you wrap up, basically. It shouldn't really matter since it's kind of random anyways. Once you do manage to pop back out into the overworld, we're going to need to head back to the Kidus. Unfortunately, our road is going to be blocked by all of the mercenaries, so make sure you take them out. You cannot take the main path back, however, you should have these shortcuts unlocked, so you're going to have to use those to navigate. So pretty much head through all of the districts, taking out all of the mercenaries and going to each of the shortcuts until you get back to the Kidu territory. Once you are here, you should wrap up the main mission, and that should open the roads back up, which should allow you to head back to the arena to wrap the day up so make sure you do that and then get back to the arena fast forward through all of the story and eventually you should wake up in another dungeon again you can do whatever you want so just keep clicking on whatever arrows is going to take you to the end doesn't really matter which ones it's going to end with a boss fight and then once you are here you're going to have a little pool party so again just pick the top most visual novel options and get through all the fan service and then once you are back out in the overworld it's time to move on. You should come back to the market district and you're going to have to head back to the arena so make sure you do so and then once you are here you're going to have some more story bits make sure you get past all this stuff again picking the top most choice for the visual novel bits. You're going to start chapter 12 right here and be good for another achievement for another 40 gamer score. Then back to the story, we are going to skip past this part, so get back to fast forwarding. You're going to wake up in this dungeon, and you're going to have all of these beats. Just keep picking the topmost choice to sneak past the guard, and just keep moving through the dungeon like you normally would. Once you get to the end, you're going to have these four doors right here. To get past this part, what you need to do is you need to make sure you start at the leftmost door. You want to make sure you always pick eavesdrop first, then pick the other option, which is going to alternate between try to force the lock open and open door. And you're going to do that with all four doors until you get to the rightmost one. That should take you into the next scene once you finally manage to get this door open. And then eventually, after some more fast forwarding, you should come back to the arena. And then once you are here, make sure you head back inside. And then you should finish up the chapter and move on to chapter 13 for another achievement for 90 gamer score.
So this is pretty much going to wrap it up for Act 2. You're just going to get through the last bits of the story. Just keep fast forwarding. You have a single choice right here. Just pick the topmost one again and just keep fast forwarding. You're going to eventually make your grand escape out of town and you're going to get another party member. Keep fast forwarding after this and then you should finally wrap up the act after this boss fight against this dude. You're going to get your congratulations screen here since we actually did all the quests this time instead of skip them like in Act 1. You get the Act 3 card, hit that A button to actually get into it. You're going to get an option to auto level your characters, make sure you do so. And then once you start Chapter 14, you're going to be in Act 3, another 90 gamer score right here, and then another city to explore. So to open up this act, we are going to want to head to the tavern, which is going to be the Drowned Rat. Make sure you fast forward through all of this and just get to exiting. Next stop is going to be the Forge, which is up here. Just talk to the people and exit. And then we're going to go to the House of Healing, fast forward and exit. And then we're going to head down to the docks. And then once you are here, fast forward and exit. Then back to the main part of town. And our last stop in this little introduction bit is going to be Marrow's residence right here on the left. Make sure you get through all of this. You are going to get some words of advice, but that's not really going to matter. We are just going to head to the docks after that. Go back to the docks, and that should start up Chapter 15, another 90 gamer score to unlock right here. Then get back to fast forwarding, and then some stuff's going to happen. You're going to get all your various quests and all this stuff. Eventually, you're going to end up in this city's version of a dungeon crawl, which is going to be these volcanoes right here. Again, just do whatever you want. Just click on all the arrows, and then eventually you should get back to some visual novel parts. Again, just keep picking the topmost options, and then eventually you should head back into town and then start the next chapter, which is chapter 16, and another 90 gamer score for that. Then we're going to be in another dungeon crawl in this forest. Again, just keep picking all of the various arrows, and you can pick whatever ones you want. As long as you make it to the end, you are going to wrap up this quest, and then you're going to head back into town to start chapter 17 and be good for another achievement for another 90 gamer score. All right, more visual novel nonsense. Again, just keeping the topmost choice, and then we're going to get into the long part of the game. This is going to be the biggest gap between achievements, and it can get a little confusing, so try your best to follow us along. You're going to start out by heading to the tavern, so go to the Drowned Rat and make sure you refuse an exit. Then you're going to head to the Forge, and then which one of these want to make sure you fast forward and exit. And then we're going to go to Marrow's Residence, and then again fast forward and exit. And this should give us our first sets of quests. Then you're going to want to go back to the docks, make sure you click on the ship, and you're going to be given a choice in locations. Pick the topmost one, and this is going to take us to this mansion. We are going to have to search the place for a bit, so just make sure you keep picking the topmost choice, and you should get some loot along the way. None of this really matters, just try to get through it as quickly as possible, and then you should end up back in town. Unfortunately, you can only do one quest per day, so we are going to have to advance the clock forward. Head back into town, and then make sure you click on Rowinda's house, which is going to be the bottom of the screen. You're going to want to relax, which is going to move you to the next day. Make sure you do that twice to get your health back. So the next few quests are going to require that we have quite a bit of money on hand, so we're going to have to make some money, and the easiest way to do this is to head to any one of the shops. So we're just going to pick the old sailor, for example, and then we're just going to sell off whatever we have. Again, since we don't need to play any of the battles, this isn't going to be really important to hold on to all of this stuff. So just go to all five of the categories and just keep clicking the sell all items in this category button, and that should make you enough cash to get you through the rest of the game. So just make sure you sell off all of your stuff and then you should be set and then make sure you leave the shop. Then we're going to head over to the Drowned Rat, so back to the tavern, make sure you accept the mission. It's going to cost you 500 gold coins, but then you should start the next mission. Then it's going to be back to the Moreau's residence and then we're going to get another mission right here. Then it's going to be back to the ship, and then we're going to head to the next area. So make sure you click on that. We're going to go over to the hidden cave. For this, you want to make sure you pick the third option, which is to board the ship right away. Don't waste your time going into the caves. The solution for this is to pick the captain's quarters first, then the crew quarters, then finally the cargo hold. So that's the fastest way to get through this mission. Make sure you pick yes to open it to trigger the boss fight against the Lich Lord right away. And then that should be another quest taken care of. Back into town, and then we're going to have to advance the clock. 
So it's going to be back to Rowinda's house and another two sets of relaxing. And then once we get all of our health back, it's going to be on to the next mission. So once you are here, head back to the ship and then we're going to go to the other area, which is going to be Topakwe. Once we are here, we're going to get some fast forwarding. Again, pick the topmost choice for the visual novel bits, and then you're going to get into another boss fight. Get through all of that, and then it's going to wrap up another quest. Then back into town, another two relaxes, and then we're going to be back in action with full health. Our next stop is going to be back at the tavern, so head to the Drowned Rat, and then fast forward through all of this stuff, and then exit. After you take care of that, we're going to head back to the forge and then fast forward and exit. You are going to get an item here as well as your next quest, so make sure you take care of that. And then finally, back to Moreau's residence to fast forward through all of that. Then it's going to be back to the ship to move on to our next pirating adventure in Arlaka, so make sure you head over there. And this is going to be another instance where you're going to pick the topmost choices for all of the visual novel bits to get through this as quickly as possible. And then it's going to take care of another quest. Then we're going to be back into town and then it's going to be back to our Rowinda's house and then another few relaxes later. And then we're going to be back in action. Once you wake back up, we are going to want to head over here to the forge and then wrap up this quest. You're going to be given your choice of items. Just pick whatever. It doesn't really matter since we aren't going to use them anyways. Exit whenever you are done. Back here, we're going to want to move on back to the ship, and then we're going to move to that other area, which is going to be the Pirate Grotto. Once you are here, again, just keep picking the topmost choice for all of the visual novel bits, and this is going to cost you some cash, but it's going to end up with you getting another item, so make sure you pocket that. Then it's going to be back into town. Make sure you head back to Rowinda's house to get your relaxing in. That should get your health back as well as advance the clock. The next quest is also going to require that you have a bunch of money. So if you are short, make sure you sell off all of your newfound items. However, you should still have enough from earlier. I believe the exact amount is going to be random. Personally, for me, it was about 2000 So make sure you have a ton of cash on you, and then hopefully you should be able to get the quest to move on. Make sure you leave the tavern and then head back to the ship. You want to make sure you travel over to the Lonely Polly. For this, you want to make sure you pick the second choice. I turn to the east. And then what you want to do is make sure you pick the second choice again. I've got to turn clockwise a little and then look through my telescope. And then finally pick the first choice to the north and that should get you past that visual novel bit. You should earn a little bit of your money back hopefully and then you are going to get back into town. Once you are here, make sure you head back and then make sure you stop by Rowinda's house. Make sure you get your relaxing in. Then we're going to pick up on our last few quests. We're going to start out by heading to the tavern to get the first one. And then the second one is going to be located at Marrow's residence. So make sure you pick those two up and then it's going to be back to our ship. We're going to start out with the first one. So when given the choice, make sure you pick the Bay of Sorrows. This is going to get us into a fight with some pirates. We are going to want to pick the second option, which is going to be to close in. And then that's going to win us the fight and earn us a bunch of money back. Then we're supposed to fight the Kraken. So you are going to want to just skip past that. You should get a bunch of money here, which should hopefully make up for whatever you spent earlier. And then once you are back into town, make sure you head back to Rowinda's house and make sure you relax twice again. And then once you are back to the next morning, you are going to want to head back to the ship. And then we're going to wrap up that last quest. So on to the Gristlebone Hills. And then we're going to, again, pick the first most choice for our visual novel parts. And then we're going to get into another fight here. Make sure you get past this. And then once you are done with this, we're going to finally head back to town and then wrap up our last quest that we need for all of our pirating adventures. So we're going to have to advance the clock one more time. So back to Rowinda's house and make sure you relax twice. And then after that, we're going to finally say our goodbyes to this nice little seaside town by heading over to Marrow's residence and then wrap up all the story bits that we have over there. So next morning, make sure you go over there, fast forward. And then once you get back in control, you are going to need to head back home. You get this new arrow up top right here. Make sure you leave this town. And then we're going to start act four, which is going to be the last act in the game. And this is where we're going to wrap things up. So auto level your characters up to level 21. And then you should start chapter 18 and be given yet another achievement for 90 gamer score.
After that, you're going to be on this screen. You can just ignore everything and just move on to the next screen by clicking on the blue arrow. Make sure you pick the topmost choice whenever given the visual novel parts and just keep doing that until you get back to the next gameplay part. So some talking and boss fights later, we are going to wind up in this next location in the desert. Again, you can just ignore everything and just click on the blue arrow to move on to the next screen. And you're going to more or less have the same thing, but instead of centaurs, you're going to fight minotaurs. And then you're going to head back to the snowy area. Once you get this set of arrows, just click on the topmost one. You need 5,000 gold for this talking bit. However, since we made so much earlier, you should be plentiful at this point. If you do need money for whatever reason, you can always sell off whatever items you have left at the shop just below this arrow but once you take care of that boss fight you should be able to head back home so click on the topmost arrow but before we can head back home we have this little detour where we need to do this little searching segment just keep clicking on the arrow until it disappears and then you can move on back into town we go and then we are going to then get our last set of missions right here it's going to be nighttime, so head to the tavern to advance it to daytime. And then to wrap up these three missions, you want to start by clicking the topmost arrow to beat the first of the three final boss. So make sure you take care of him. And then which one you want to make sure you click on the rightmost arrow to take care of the second boss. And the third and final boss that we need to do in order to finish up the game, at least in terms of the achievements, is to go to the left, take care of Little Shop of Horrors, and then the Polar Bear shows up. Chapter 19 starts, and we get another achievement for our 90 gamer score. And then the last chapter we have to do is just going to be talking. So just fast forward to the end. And then once we start chapter 20, which should start shortly thereafter, we should be given our last achievement. So it's going to be right here, another 90 gamer score. And that should also be where our completion should be. So that's going to be every single achievement, 1000 gamer score. Hope you enjoyed the guide. And that's all there is to it.